with three uh, major laboratories on board. That includes the uh, U.S. laboratory Destiny, this uh, uh, Japanese laboratory Kibo, and also the Columbus Laboratory of the European Space Agency. A number of experiments are are always uh, ongoing aboard the station, uh, even when the crew uh, is not uh, required to interact with those experiments. Uh, a lot of the experiments can be conducted and the crew uh, performs status checks periodically. Um, in addition to the um, burning and suppression of solids experiment, there's also additional experiment that to test uh, how flames are extinguished in space. I like to call it hot research. It's the flame extinguishment experiment, or FLEX, and crew members have been working on this experiment in recent weeks. I had the opportunity to talk to one of the investigators about why and how they study flames in space. Basically, we're trying to understand how we can be safer in space um, by understanding when flames burn and the conditions where flames go out. Um, we're looking for that boundary position where um, one moment your, your flame is alive and the next moment your, your flame is extinguished. And so we've been taking a look at um, uh, different fuels and uh, uh, different conditions in the, uh, in the chamber, different atmospheric pressures, different uh, um, suppressants, and we're looking for those places where the flame goes out and why. Flames act a lot differently in space, right? Absolutely. Um, in space, we, we, we've learned that, um, that the fires um, burn at a slower burning rate, um, uh, that they burn at a um, a lower temperature, uh, but they burn at a lower oxygen concentration, which makes them a little bit more dangerous uh, for crew. Um, you might put your hand on a panel and you might not feel the fire. Um, it's harder to detect fires in space because um, the lack of, of gravity means there's no buoyancy. There's no, no reason for the flames to uh, send smoke up across the ceiling like they do on Earth. So it's harder for a smoke detector to detect the fires and um, because there, it burns at a lower oxygen concentration, uh, it allows fires to uh, continue to burn after maybe you think you've put them out. Wow. So how do crew members handle flames in space? Well, we do have some space-based smoke detectors, which are, have been redesigned uh, through our research um, to uh, uh, look at larger soot particles because soot tends to grow larger in space. We have more detectors um, and behind various panels, and we have uh, different kinds of suppressants, but those are the things we're still studying to try to find the most effective ways of putting out the fires. So it obviously has space applications, but what about for folks here on Earth? Our, our research also um, extends to some fundamental research and uh, allows us to uh, take a look at our computer models and our, um, our equations. And we're, literally, we're going to, uh, by operating in space, take gravity out of the equation, and which m makes our equation simpler, our computer models are simpler, and uh, it allows us to then uh, use those models uh, for redesigning furnaces and engines and combustors on Earth to be more efficient, to allow us to uh, use less fuel, um, create less greenhouse gases and less soot and basically create a greener planet.